Kia ora, I'm Amanda Harper and welcome to Destination Central. This week we're coming to you from Rotorua. Now this Bay of Plenty city is not just a tourist hotspot, but is home to around 56,000 residents. Let's take a quick look at what businesses will be visiting today. We start the day with a healthy dose of exercise at Pilates Focus. We have a chat to Douglas at Dive HQ. After that, we meet the brand new manager for Atlantis Books, grab a coffee at Capers Epicurean, and have a look back at Regency Park. Right, let's go to Pilates Focus for a quick workout. There's something for everyone at Pilates Focus on the corner of Hinemoa and Tutanakai Street. Come inside and let's meet Barry and he might just be able to teach me a couple moves. Hi Barry, nice to meet you. How would you define Pilates? Well Pilates is an exercise method that was developed by Joseph Pilates uh, back in the 1930s, 40s. Um, the things that define it really are minimising momentum when you're working uh, through your exercises, which uh, ensures that the level of intensity that you're getting is quite high. Um, the other defining thing with Pilates is the idea of uh, core stability and core contractive work to help uh, manage your skeleton so that you're in the right position anatomically, biomechanically for whatever work that you're doing. On top of that, we're connecting breath to movement and um, working through uh, a set range of exercises and all of their um, progressions and regressions which have evolved over the, the decades. And so it's a very safe exercise method. We have people from Olympic um, athletes right through to people who are uh, getting rehabilitation post-surgery for hip and knee replacement. So it's very um, broad ranging. And tell me about the services you have on offer here. All right, well basically we offer group sessions for um, up to 12 people where everybody is doing the same workout. We do personalised program sessions where we will design a program specifically for you. We've got a masseuse on board who is fantastic, um, Amy Blasoni. We've got a nutritionist uh, available and I also practice traditional Chinese medicine, so acupuncture, Chinese herbs as well. And whereabouts are you located in Rotorua? We are in City Focus on the corner of Tutanakai and Hinemaua Street. Uh, Hinemaua Street entrance, you've got to go up the stairs. We've got two levels, so two different uh, work areas. And um, in the old Westpac Bank building. So you can't miss us, it's a nice big um, 1930s two-storey brick building, just above uh, St Bruno's. Excellent Barry, now you're going to show me a few of the exercises? I am going to crush you. <laughs> oh dear, all right, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so this is a specialist piece of equipment. It's a reformer, a Pilates reformer. It's spring-loaded, so I can change the resistance on there depending on what we're doing and how tough you are <laughs> and how much I want to make you struggle. So to hop into it, I just get you to sit down here, reach across and lay into it sideways, roll into it and feet up onto the foot bar. All right, so what I want you to do is hold your arms nice and straight and just pull into the ropes a little bit so you've got a bit of tension. Now here's the tricky bit, I want you to tighten your abdominals by pulling your belly button backwards and pulling the ribs down a little bit. And I want you to make sure that you don't push your low back into the, into the carriage. We're gonna bring one leg up, just folding at the hip. We're gonna call that a tabletop position and you're gonna bring the other leg up to the same position and feel how that load comes into your abdominals. So what I'd like you to do is take a nice deep breath in and as you breathe out, you're gonna pull your arms straight down to the carriage. And as you breathe in, you're gonna bring them back up to that start position. You're working your abdominals right there. You're working your pecs right there. You're working a bit of lats back here. Are your main ones, keep it going. And what do you reckon, you're getting a bit of a burn going there? Yeah. Keep it going. Do you want to come back here many, many times? Yes. Good, okay, it's an hour of workout and we will have you toned and terrific by Christmas. <laughs> Sounds How's good. How's that? Five minutes of that and I can already feel it in my abs. If you want a full body conditioning workout, come down to Pilates Focus in Rotorua.
After the break, we check out Dive HQ and visit Atlantis Books. Dive HQ is the leading supplier of dive products in New Zealand and they also run dive courses. I'm here at the Rotorua premises on Tenai Road. Let's dive in and have a chat to Douglas. Hi Douglas, nice to meet you. Tell me about the products that you sell here at Dive HQ Rotorua. Now the products we sell are um, largely um, dive, dive gear from dive shops, uh, but we do we also have uh, kayaks, we've got um, a couple of paddle boards in the shop. We also do some minor um, LPG fittings, so if you want to um, want to change a regulator on your barbecue or put a new hose on to your um, barbecue or um, heater, we can do that. You run dive courses every couple of weeks, tell me about that. Do you have to have a level of experience already? No, you don't need um, any experience at all, you just need to be able to, able to swim. And um, the only equipment you need to have of your own for the dive courses is your own uh, mass snorkel and fins. And we've got quite a few of them uh, on the shelf behind me that you can um, go through and uh, pick the one that you like the best. Why is it important for amateur and experienced divers to be fitted out in the correct gear? Because the, the importance of having your own gear is that it fits you, it fits you you're very familiar with it, so um, you know how it's going to work, you know where everything is on it. Whereas if you're hiring gear then you might not get the same set each time, so you're going to try and figure out um, where everything is and you just might not be as comfortable as um, having your own gear. And how does the dive course actually work? Okay, so our typical course is um, usually a night course, so you show up at the shop at um, 5.30 and then on the, um, on the Monday night we'll go from 5.30 till um, 10 and we're just going over the um, theory work which you would have um, completed before coming in. And we just go through and mark all those um, knowledge views and it's an opportunity for you to ask any questions you might have um, about diving or um, about the equipment um, that might have come up um, when you're reading the books. And then the Tuesday night we'll usually go off to the aquatic centre and we'll be in there for usually from uh, th uh, 6 till 9pm um, and we'll do two, um, two confined water dives and it's just learning some basic skills and just building up your confidence in the, um, in the gear and the equipment and then on the Thursday night we'll do another three dives in the, um, in the pool and we're just building upon those initial skills and basically just getting your confidence up and then the Saturday and Sunday we'll go into the um, Lake Rotomar and we'll do the um, open water dives and we're just going to do the same skill, some of the same skills again, not as not as intense as what's in the old, in the confined water. And we'll just do them in the open water, so you get experience in actual dive where it's um, not um, not controlled and not not confined like the pools. Before we finish, what are your opening hours? How can people contact you, and whereabouts are you located? Okay, so our opening hours are um, 7:30 to 5:30 on Monday to Friday, 9 till 3 on uh, Saturday. You can get in touch with us um, by giving us a ring or um, sending us an email and um, our staff will be um, able to um, help you out. And we're located at uh, 290B uh, Tenai Road um, next to um, Subway and um, Repco, just past the Tower Road roundabout. If you're looking for the right equipment and professional advice for all your diving needs, then come down and meet the friendly team at Dive HQ Rotorua. Last time Amy came to Atlantis, she had a fantastic time and I myself am super excited to get inside and bury my head in some books. Let's go in and meet DJ, the new manager of Atlantis Books. Hi DJ, it's nice to meet you. You too, thank you. So tell me how long you've been working for Atlantis Books for? I've been working here since the beginning of July. Um, it's been awesome, I've loved it. Yeah, and how did you come across this job? Um, I discovered Atlantis Books through Facebook, actually, and um, I was living in Tukuroa. We came over here for the day, and as soon as I walked in here, I knew that I wanted to work here. Like, you know, I saw the comics and the graphic novels, and the fact that they had new and used books was awesome. When I got back home, I sent emails asking them to give me a job. They replied a day or two later with a really polite thank you, but no thank you, we've already got enough people, you know how it is. Then a week or two later on their Facebook page they posted up an ad saying that they were looking for a full-timer in this store. So, you know, I sent my emails again and a couple days later he said, yeah, come in for an interview. So, and it kind of went from there. So essentially you kind of stalked them? I stalked them a little bit. Uh, it's all about persistence, you exactly. know. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> now what sets Atlantis Books? apart from any other sort of routine bookstore? The fact that we have new and used books um, 
our diverse range, you know, we've got fantasy to hunting and fishing to New Zealand non-fiction. We've got a huge range of rare and collectible books, which I've never seen anywhere else. Manga and graphic novels is another thing that, you know, nobody else really has. And the fact that, you know, you can pick up a used book for $5 and a brand new book is always under the regular retail price, so our prices, yeah. Yeah, got affordable prices. Oh yeah. Definitely. And recently we've just partnered up with a local company called Mesa Games. So now we have a huge selection of board games and trading cards, which is really cool and perfect for gifts. So next year you're starting a new role as well, what's that? From the 1st of January I will be the store manager of the store, so that's really that's exciting. Nice. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> so you have a little bit more responsibility? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Now what's your favourite part about working here, apart from being surrounded apart by books? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of enough on its own. But um, definitely my bosses, they're more like friends rather than bosses and they listen to my ideas and they let me have independence and they're training me up to be a manager so yeah, <laughs> that's my favourite part. Okay and also what's your sort of favourite type of reading, do you have a specific genre? Young adult probably, um, also Japanese manga and comics as well. And also for any customers, how do they find you? We are on Itaweta Street, uh, just down the road from the movie theatre and across the road from Capers. Excellent, and how can they get in contact with the store? Um, you can call us on 0800 196 196 or uh, go to our website atlantisbooks.co.nz. Excellent, right. thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. For a wide range of books in a relaxing atmosphere, Come on down to Atlantis Books in Rotorua. After the break, we visit Capers and Regency Park. Open seven days a week, Capers Epicurean is devoted to providing fresh quality food in the heart of Rotorua. Let's go inside and meet mother daughter team Liz and Jules Todd. Liz, Jules, it's really nice to meet you both. Now tell me about your menu. Where do you source your ingredients from? So we've actually got a full breakfast menu and we've also got a full dinner menu. We've got cabinet food, we've got cakes and it's all baked fresh here in-house. We've got gluten-free options, dairy-free, vegan. So we cater for a lot of people here. Um, we source all of our products from local butchers, uh, fresh produce, yeah, so it's all it's local. Yeah. And why should people choose your restaurant? We think Capers Epicurean is, is a fantastic restaurant. It's got great staff, we like to think it has. The chefs do an amazing job in the kitchen with the fresh food that comes out and it's always consistent. And we would just love people to come here. <laughs> and we greet them with a smile. What are some of the more popular items on your menu? Breakfast, definitely the Eggs Benedict. We get so many of these go up during the day. Um, from the dinner menu, probably the Scotch Fillet. And do you have any personal favourites? Mine's definitely the Scotch Fillet. It's just out of this world. It comes with the, like, the best blue cheese in New Zealand. It's got field mushrooms that cook to how you want it, the pea puree and the wine dew on top. It's just, together it's like a party in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and mine has to be the French toast, it's, the, it's baguettes cooked in egg and it's got berry compote and cream fresh with streaky bacon and it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. And we do change the menu every six months so we've got a variety twice a year which is good. We keep the classics though, yeah. to keep everyone happy. <laughs> so you're not just a cafe, you also have a specialty food section and a playroom for the kids. Why do you think it's important to have these extra services? Just so you can cater for different customers. I mean, there's families that want to come into town and have a nice, relaxed sit down. So there's somebody, like some place for the kids to go and just chill out so the parents can have their coffee or, you know, people want to find nice presents for people from the deli. That's, a, that's what we get a lot from there. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just giving a range of things for people. And what's it like working for Capers? It's great. Like, I've learned a lot since I've been here. I've been here since I was 13. Um, I've been trained to be a barista. I've done courses on being an assessor. Yeah, I um, do lots here, learn heaps, and the customers are just great. I get, you get regulars every day and they start becoming your friends because you, they come in so often. Yeah, There's heaps of different people you get to meet. Yeah, yeah, the customers, 
probably are the best thing because they just it's like a family working here. I've worked here eight years and learnt a lot in the eight years. The staff's great to work with. The girls are really good out on the floor and boys I should say. And it's yeah, it's an awesome place to work. But customers are probably you know, because they come in and it's just like a big family. Well, we like to make it a big yeah. family thing, eh? And you learn their names and it's just, you make them feel good as well. And what type of atmosphere do you have at Capers? Just happy. A good, nice, relaxing place to come and have a coffee or have something to eat. But we also like to make it just nice and smiley, you know? Yeah, yeah, we like to have a good, a nice, happy atmosphere. And I see, what are your opening hours and where can customers locate you? Hey, our opening hours are 7 o'clock in the morning to 9.30 at night. We're open seven days a week. You can find us on Erawera Street. We have got a plate with a knife and fork on our building. You can also check out our website. We've got the full menu on there. We do ring in orders, so if you, like, you need something, you can just ring us up and we'll get that ready for you. And yeah, just anyone can just come down. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. All that talk of that delicious food has made me hungry and thirsty. Don't miss out on getting down to sample some fine Rotorua cuisine at Capers Epicurean. Regency Park Estate in Rotorua is a gated retirement village for those who would like the benefits of security and companionship while retaining a leisurely and independent lifestyle. Today we're off to have a chat with owner-operator Dennis Walsh and of course take a look at the facilities. Hi Dennis, now what a beautiful setting here at the Regency Park Estate. So tell me what is it that is unique about this retirement village? Well, Regency Park Estate is, um, we could say, perhaps a, a, a bit of a boutique uh, retirement village. Uh, people here get a freehold unit title, which is uh, quite a bit different from uh, the rest of the retirement village industry in New Zealand, where uh, you only get licence to occupy, licence to lease. But uh, here people actually get freehold unit title. So um, they get you know, really good security um, and they own the unit and they also, also get the share in the capital gain. Okay, so talk me through the facilities that are available to residents. Okay, there's, um, we've got um, a bowling green and we've got spa pool, uh, we have a motel unit for guests um, and then the usual things, library, uh, gymnasium and uh, obviously uh, a lounge, big lounge area with uh, catering facilities and a um, pool table, games room. So yeah, well, the residents are fairly well catered for. And what services and help are available to those who may need it? Okay, um, my wife and I live on site here. We're on call 24-7 uh, and uh, every unit has got a um, medical alarm in it. Uh, my wife and I are, are trained first aiders, so um, we're the first uh, line of response. Um, and uh, you know, if people need an ambulance or so forth, um, we, we can arrange that and uh, obviously assist people until uh, the ambulance uh, arrives. Uh, we can access uh, the DHB nursing for them and, and, and so forth, uh, help them with, with those and filling out papers and so forth. We've uh, got the Tenai Shopping Centre right opposite and uh, there's a lot of um, shops available over there for the residents to use and um, we have uh, right outside our gate here, pedestrian gate, we have the um, a bus service uh, which runs every half hour into town and back. Well it certainly is great to have those options available to residents and how can they get in contact to find out more and take a look at the Regency Park Estate? Okay, Regency Park Estate is situated on the corner of Tenai and Brent Road. Uh, you're most welcome to come out and um, have a look around. We're only too happy to show you around the village and uh, what we have here and what we have to offer. And you are most welcome. Uh, our phone number is 34 836 or you can have a look on our website. Thanks Dennis. Now I think it's about time we go and have a chat to some of the residents. Now, Colleen, you've been living here for nearly two years, so what do you enjoy most about the Regency Park Estate? Just about everything, really. Um, I never thought that we would live in a place like this. My husband, I didn't think, would like this kind of community living, but we, we just love it. Mm -hmm. We love the community, we love the people, we love the, um, the activities that they have, and Another big plus for us was being able to have our motorhome here. 
and that was a very big plus because we've got very good parking. We can take off whenever we like and we know that our units all looked after and secure and our gardens are all looked after so it's just been great. Wonderful, thank you very much Colleen and I saw you out there playing Rama Cup so can I come and join? You certainly can. All right. <laughs> Well, I could get used to this. A wonderful, secure social environment to spend the days at the Regency Park Estate in Rotorua. Oh, you've got three tens. Well, that was certainly an interesting day here in Rotorua. I have a newfound appreciation for this city, and I'm sure you do too. Thanks for joining me. I'm Amanda Harper. Tune in next week for another episode of Destination Central. Ka kite. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group.